Okay, so in section four, yesterday, we defined the duality pointer, uh, duality pointer D. Uh, and let us start with the definition. So let's say that uh, S group uh, scheme H is reflexive if the natural map from H to its double dual. So uh, I will explain this map in a minute, but well, like in any duality context, there is a natural map from the object to the to the double dual is isomorphous. Okay, so this is definition. And so yesterday, so we saw that if E is twisted constant, so let me write TC to my twisted constant, then the dual is multiplicative type and D of H is again E. Thus, in particular, we see that E is reflexive. Okay, I didn't prove the result, but I, I, I stated this, uh, this as one of the proposition yesterday. And similarly, if H is multiplicative type, and there is a technical hypothesis which is needed. So we have to assume that it is isoprelial. Uh, uh, so let me, uh, a parenthetical re remark. Uh, it's always the case. I hope I can, I can lecture on it uh, later. Always the case if the abelian uh, group M is finitely generated. So this is one of the reasons why, uh, why I always insisted that M be finitely generated, uh, because in, in this case, any multiplicative group, any empty group of type M is quasi isotropian. But so let, let's take this as an extra hypothesis for the moment. So if H is empty quasi isotrivial, then its dual E is a twisted constant. And the dual of E is again H. So it's H is reflexive. And um, now, uh, uh, so I, I want to, to add uh, the following, well, let's call it a theorem. So that T is an anti equivalence uh, between corresponding categories. So we have quasi, let's say, group of multiplicative type, uh, which are quasi isotrivial. Mm -hmm. And twisted constant groups. Uh, which are 
also fuzzy. That's okay here. And the same is true if we consider the subcategory of those which are isotrivial or, or, or locally isotrivial. Okay, so where is this? Okay, so we, uh, what we what we need to prove? So we 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 have just checked that it's it's okay on the objects. So what we need to prove, what we need to prove is that the home are preserved, uh, that is that uh, say a home as a group of H, H prime, if both are of multiplicative type is the same as home as group as D of H prime, D of H and, and same. Uh, so in the theorem, do you assume finite generation? I beg your pardon? In the theorem, do you assume finite generation? Finite generation, finite generation, finite? No. No, no. Well, in fact, I'm, 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 I'm assuming finite generation uh, all the time, but actually, yes, the theorem is true without finite generation. Okay. Okay. But okay, so we 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 need to we need to prove uh, this fact uh, about the homes, and and so this is in fact a, 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 a very general argument. So for simplicity, for brevity. Let me denote uh, um, let, let, let me denote uh, by I uh, the multiplicative group over S because this this saves the uh, subscripts and uh, and let G uh, be uh, S group scheme uh, such that P of G is representable. So this is okay if J is multiplicative type or twisting constant. And uh, so what is what is D of G for any uh, S scheme D? E, uh, so we have by definition that the value of D of G on T, which I can also write as from uh, well, uh, so this is home of S schemes. So let me write it like that. So that by definition, D of G of T, this is the, homo the homomorphism of T groups uh, from GT into IT. Okay, and since I have assumed that uh, DG is representable. This is also from the category of scheme of T into T of G. Okay, and now uh, what is uh, this? Uh, uh, what is this? So uh, this is the same as the homomorphism as S groups uh, from uh, GT. Uh, into uh, I and uh, and so this is in fact uh, so this is the same so this is the set of uh, S scheme uh, S scheme 
Euh, mon fils, moi. Et cause M5. From G cross T into I. Uh, uh, which are which are multiplicative uh, the first argument. Because if we if we think uh, uh, if we think about uh, 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 that is uh, uh, pi of g g prime t is equal to pi of g t uh, pi of g t prime for uh, every uh, t prime the points and any scheme t or t uh, or s. Okay, so these are morphisms which have uh, this uh, property. And uh, suppose now. Suppose that T, call it now G prime, is uh, not only a S scheme, but is a S group, uh, S group scheme. Uh, then we have the subset. Then uh, we have the subset uh, we have the subset on we can consider the the group of homomorphism from G prime into D of G. Uh, oh. Um, so this is a subset of the of this home space consisting of of those morphisms which additionally are uh, group morphisms. So if we follow all the way uh, till the end, uh, so this is we have the subset this subset which is the set. Uh, of uh, morphism of S morphism from G cross uh, G prime into I, which are I multiplicative. That is also multiplicative in the in the second argument, and now we see that this is symmetric, and, and now this is symmetric. This is symmetric in G and G prime, and hence we get, hence we get that. Uh, the morphism of S group schemes from G prime into D of G. So this is the set of B multiplicative, B multiplicative morphism. And so this is also the frontier D of G prime applied to G. And if we assume, if we assume also that, if 
we assume that d of g prime is also representable. So this is uh, the set of uh, uh, um, morphism of S group uh, from uh, G uh, into G of G prime. Okay, so we have this this nice formula. We we shows that D is uh, uh, is its own adjoint, and uh, and well, let me rewrite re re this. And for all G G prime such that D of G D of G prime are. Uh, Representable. We have a natural uh, isomorphism that the most from a group morphism from G prime into T of G has the same as the S group uh, from. Uh, G into G of G prime. And in, partic in particular, uh, so uh, uh, In particular, if uh, if one of them say if G is reflexive, is reflexive, or well, that is G is equal to D of H, where H is D of G, then we get that the form of groups of G prime into H is the same as form as a group of uh, D of H into D of G prime. Okay, and so this proves the theorem in particular. This proves this proves this proves the theory. Actually, well, it's you know, so we we have just assumed that uh, both duals are representable and that one of the group is uh, reflexive. Um, but so in in this context, everything is sight is uh, so the so duals are representable. Everything is uh, is reflexive, and so we get in particular this uh, anti anti equivalence of categories. Okay. Uh, so let us say more now about this duality functor. No, no, the, the base is irrelevant for, for. No, 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 it's, uh, it, no, 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 no. It, yes, in, 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 uh, in, in the sense. I'm 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 not sure it says something about the the scheme structure because actually all this works so I assume that everything is is representable just for convenience but all the reasoning uh, works for group functors 
So, uh, so actually, Grothendieck proves this for us that there is an anti equivalence between. Uh, so the duality is an, uh, an, an anti equivalence between group functors that are that are re reflexive. So so I think it's a, it's a purely really functorial functorial thing. Hmm. Uh, so in uh, section six, I want to consider the exactness of uh, a functor. D, so, uh, uh, so, uh, so again, so we fix uh, a base as the in S. Uh, so, uh, So let, let me write first uh, the proposition, and then I comment uh, later. So this says, the note, this is proposition 6.5. So consider an exact sequence, let, so for some reason, I want to call P the, the subgroup, M the middle group. So let this be a list exact sequence of usual abelian groups. And just to be safe, I, I put the blanket uh, assumption that every, they are all finitely generated. And let's consider the multiplicative group that they defined. So G is a, is a big group. And uh, let's call Y the one corresponding to P. And, uh, and let's call K the N of S. Okay, and so uh, the statement is that uh, so, so the functor is is contravariant. So, uh, so D of V uh, is an isomorphism. Is an isomorphism from so D N of S to the kernel. So let. So I introduce the notation now to the kernel K of the morphism. So this is D of U to uh, Y because so G is just uh, DM and Y is just DP. Uh, and uh, K is a closed uh, sub scheme. Okay. okay. So, second assertion is that the morphism D of U from G to Y uh, is uh, defined and uh, faithfully flat. And three, uh, that Y is the quotient the G of K. So I will explain this in the proof, what it means to be the quotient. And the fourth point, is that all these commutes, uh, these commutes uh, with any base change, with any base change U of S, uh, that is 
if we may change y, it is still the quotient of gt divided by kt. Okay, so this this is all the the, uh, the assertion I, I want to prove, and this explains the title exactness of the function d because it goes from uh, honest uh, abelian group which form an abelian category, and the statement is that well we get an exact sequence of uh, of groups uh, uh, on the other side. Okay. So maybe I have to explain uh, what, uh, what it means to be the quotient. So I need to introduce two definitions. So definition one. Um, so given uh, S scheme. Oh, how should I put it? Okay, so let, let, let us start by, by, by observing that the, the kernel, so uh, we have a Cartesian diagram, so we have the map G goes to Y. And if we take the unit section, so this diagram is, is Cartesian, so that uh, the, so the kernel is itself for the, the fiber product of a Y Uh, with this, uh, and, all, and and so we we have an isomorphism. So we have an isomorphism uh, G I plus over S K to the fiber product uh, G plus Y uh, G, uh, which is given on on one let me call H here. So this goes to the pair uh, G uh, G H. Uh, okay, um, because so this fiber product is a set of pairs of element uh, of of uh, couples of element of G, which have the same image in in uh, in Y, and so they differ by an element in the kernel. And uh, denotes by uh, P1, P2, the two projections from this fiber product to G. Okay, so let me write here P1, P2. So it's a projection on, 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 on the different factors. So now let's say a definition. Uh, let uh, Z uh, S scheme. We say uh, S morphism uh, uh, of schemes from G to S is K invariant. Uh, so there should be uh, uh, a name, no, not you. Uh, 
as if it's it's if we have this what is if we if we compose with uh, uh, if it, it it gives the same office when we pre-compose with any in this offset perfection and so this is equivalent to say that uh, uh, for any t over s and any uh, points uh, g in uh, g uh, of t uh, h in k of t uh, uh, one has. So if you consider the map ft applied to uh, gh, so this is the same as ft of g. Uh, so this is the meaning of being a k invariant. So it's, it's so you you can you can say it as a in terms of points or uh, say that the, the two pre images are, are the same. Okay, and um, now we can define the, the quotient. Um, so we say that our map phi, which is E of uh, U, which goes from G to Y, uh, is uh, a quotient. Yes, so let's sort of make. Hmm? We cite uh, our, uh, the, the one we considered previously, uh, uh, makes y the quotients u of k if uh, for every uh, s scheme p. Uh, one has uh, uh, the morphism of schemes from Y into Z. So this goes by a phi star into uh, so this goes uh, so if we recompose uh, by this, so this, this goes into uh, from S of G into Z, and uh, we want that this is a, a bijection. So this identifies uh, with K invariance. Amorphism. Uh, from G to Z. Okay, so the map is just if we have uh, any map A, so this goes to A uh, recomposed with phi. And so the statement is that any uh, K invariant morphism from G to Z come comes from a morphism here. So this is a, a universal uh, property. Okay, so this this uh, universal property uh, characterizes uh, uniquely up to unique isomorphism of the quotient uh, G over K 
if it exists. Okay. So the situation is very different of a base scheme that of an algebraically closed field because of an algebraically closed field, if you have a group and a subgroup, you can make uh, the set. So you have G, you have H inside G. You, you can you can make a structure. You can make a you can give a structure of a variety on the set of points uh, G of. Uh, so let's say K is an algebraically closed field. So you. Uh, you 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 give a, a structure of variety on the set of points uh, g of k divided by h of k. You, you realize this as an orbit in some projective space of a representation, and uh, you you identify so so, you, so this that's the way you define a, a structure of variety on the quotient t over h. But over a Bayes scheme, uh, things are very different. The, the, the quotients. Uh, the quotients uh, does not always exist. So this is a big problem in the theory. And uh, so we have to, to define a priori what it means to be a quotient. And this is by this very strong universal property. And then in, in, in some good, good case, when one expects the quotient to exist, uh, usually one has a good candidate uh, so we have a, a map like that, and one proves that it has this universal property, and, and then we say that the resulting scheme is is a quotient. But there is a, so that there is no general procedure of, of constructing a quotient because they, they do not always exist. Uh, so uh, so we are happy that in this case uh, uh, the quotient exists. Okay, so this was for the definition. So now. Let's prove the proposition. Haha. Uh, I will. Uh, that's a good question. I, I will. I will answer it later. Okay. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, okay. So I heard the question, and I, I will answer it later. It's a, uh, it's uh, uh, well, actually, I can answer it because okay, it's it's also interesting to give it. So, uh, what are the points? Uh, uh, So we have here G and uh, G of K. So what what is a T point? Um, well, I'm 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 afraid I I, I will well. Uh, I'm afraid I will well. So uh, roughly speaking, so the the the, the T points are. So in this good case, K is a closed subgroup. So this is all closed subscheme Z of uh, yeah. So the the, the the T point, I think, those are all all closed scheme Z of G of a, of a T, uh, which are. Uh, 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 which are uh, k, which are k-t bundles of a of a t. Uh, it's, it's something like that. Uh, because if if you have a point uh, uh, like this, so you you can uh, well, you can pull back uh, to g, and well, you get something like this. So it's. Uh, uh, the, the, the point not so easy to, to describe. Okay, so I, I I will be more precise uh, next time. Okay, so now let's prove the uh, the proposition. Uh, so uh, one. 
Uh, yeah. Sure, yeah, bijective. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, T is that, yeah. Yeah, so the, uh, it's, it's a characterization. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, why, yeah, why is the, is, the, is the source instead of being the target? Yeah, so that's a, the a definition, thank you. Um, okay, so... Uh, So let's prove, uh, let us prove uh, that for any P of S, so the map from, uh, so the quotient is uh, uh, D of N P, so this map P of D. Of P is an objective. Um, so, what is K of T? Um, so, this is the kernel. of GT to uh, Y of T. Um, and what is G of T? So this is just this is a, the group morphism no? uh, from N into So the group morphism from M to the invertible sections. And uh, what is the kernel? Uh, so it is precisely, it is those morphism which vanish on uh, uh, Um, oh, I'm confused. So those morphism uh, F. Um, oh, what do I want to say? Yeah, so, so so they are they are the ones which are in the kernel of uh, of this map uh, D of U, and so uh, so D of U is just the, the restriction of P. So the, the those morphism F, uh, which vanish on P, uh, okay. uh, because so D of U of F. Is, is just F precomposed uh, by you. And, and so this is just a, a set of group morphism from the quotient uh, from N, which is M over P into OT star. And so this is, this is indeed D of N um, of P. Okay, so so this proves that we have an isomorphism. And why is it a, a closed uh, immersion? Uh, and so this is, uh, and so the map 
from g of n to uh, d of n uh, is a closed immersion. It's a closed immersion uh, because it corresponds to the map from O of M from the okay, so it corresponds to the to the map to this, uh, uh, which it, which is clearly subjective because, because N is a quotient of uh, of F. Huh? So this map is subjective. Okay, so this is uh, the first point. And uh, now to the second point. Now to, so let uh, UI, uh, covering of S by uh, a fine open subsets so let's say that uh, UI uh, is a spectrum of, of some uh, ring A AI Yes, that's another proof. Yeah, um, the the kernel, uh, yeah, you're right. Um, if the identities in 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 any group scheme, uh, the the identity section is a uh, is always an immersion, uh, not necessarily closed, and then it is closed if and only if uh, the group scheme is uh, separated. Which is a, which is okay if it is a fine, and and so indeed, uh, in, in this case, uh, so this is uh, closed immersion and and so is case, but uh, this is, this is an alternative proof. But I I wanted just to to show that it, it follows from well, and in this case, uh, we have a, a direct proof. Um, okay, so uh, let, let's take. Uh, some of the fine opens. Uh, and, uh, okay, then our Y, uh, which is a DP of S, is covered what? Uh, so over each. Uh, UI, uh, uh, one has that the restriction of G2 UI is a spec to spectrum of a, AI, a group algebra of M over AI, and uh, Y is a spectrum of AI of uh, e. Uh, and so we have to look at the map and so the, the projection correspond uh, to the inclusion AI of P into AI of N. Uh, but I claim that uh, uh, I, I claim that uh, this is actually a free module, a free module over the, the subring 
AI of P. Uh, so we ju just take uh, just take uh, a set theoretic section, set theoretic section uh, tau of uh, the projection from M to M over P, uh, which is N. Hmm? Yes. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Uh, okay, so if we if we take a set theoretic section, uh, so this one is a free module of uh, this one, so with basis, uh, with basis. Uh, so of uh, with basis the the elements two of n for any one. Okay, because well, so uh, uh, n is just the coset uh, space m over p. So we we just take uh, we we just say that uh, m is a uh, is a disjoint union of the of the various cosets, and so we we obtain that this algebra is is free over over this one. Uh, so, so the big algebra is a free module over over the small one, uh, and uh, the map GUI to YUI is basically flat. So, uh, and, um, uh, moreover, it is affine uh, because uh, uh, because the UI itself is affine. Okay, so uh, this is it, and. Uh, And now the, con the conclusion follows uh, from the fact, a very important fact, uh, uh, so it is uh, a fine, uh, so in particular, it is quasi compact. Okay. Uh, Oh, okay, so this is F. And, uh, so I, I I said this because this is, uh, well, this, it's uh, more natural to say K invariance in this context, but we can also, uh, I, I remind you that uh, this, this was the same as saying that uh, uh, P one star of F is equal. So this is the, this is the set of those F such that the two inverses images are the same. So if we we have F, so if we pull back by the two different thing, we we have uh, the set. Okay, and uh, now we have the following fact. Let's let us start with a uh, definition. Definition. Uh, so amorphous f from x to y is uh, is called and. Um, Effective epimorphism uh, if uh, denoting by 
uh, P1 and P2. So two projections from the fiber product uh, to the Higgs. Uh, uh, we have uh, for uh, F3 uh, spin Z uh, an exact sequence an exact sequence is an exact sequence of sets that form YZ goes to form XZ goes to form XZ and so the, here this is a map F star and an exact sequence uh, of, of set. Uh, so this means that uh, this map is injective and it's image. So this means uh, this means that the image of F star uh, is exactly is equal to the set of uh, morphism. Uh, a from X to Z, such that the two projections coincide, such that okay. so this is just the definition. But you, you see that this is very uh, this is very relevant to to what we have here. Also, we would like to say we we would like to know that our phi uh, uh, we would like to know that our phi is an effective epimorphism, and yeah, and this is true because uh, there is the fact. There is a fact, which is the basic, the basis of uh, distance theory, uh, that in uh, the category, in the category of schemes, all the schemes of a, a fixed base that doesn't make a any difference. Every uh, faithfully is fully flat quadrin parts uh, amorphous no. is uh, effective epimorphous. So I left a blank here because I, I want to add a word which which start with you. Uh, so uh, le let me uh, uh, so let me write it here. So not only it is a not, not only it is an effective, but it is a universal. So this means that. So this means. So this means not only it is, this means it is an effective epimorphism. Uh, and uh, for any, I should have given a name to this morphism. Basically, flat morphism X, Y is, and for any. Uh, any morphism. Y prime to Y as a base change uh, X cross Y Y prime to uh, Y prime is effective epimorphism. 
Okay, so uh, so this proves three, and uh, because we just proved that the map is uh, faithfully flat and fine and fuzzy compact, and so we have this property, and this also, uh, and so this this also follows uh, just by by bit change. Okay. Well, I, well, actually, in this case, we, we don't really need the, the base change assertion because the proof of a T is just the same as the S because actually everything comes from. But well, it, it's nice. It's, it's good to know that uh, faithfully flat, quasi compact map has this beautiful property. So now, as you can guess, whenever we are we 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 are going to Whenever we want to construct a, a quotient, we we try to prove that the, the well we have a candidate and a, and a morphism and we are going to prove that the morphism is basically flat and quasi compact, and then and then we have our quotient map. Okay, so this is it for the for the proof uh, of uh, the, the proposition. Uh, this is not quite enough to to this this is the first step towards the statement that the the, the category of uh, diagonal double groups is uh, an abelian category, uh, which is not true of a, a not connected base. Right? So we have we have to to change. Uh, uh, we have to, to modify the definition just a little bit, but we, we have to say something about the homes between uh, those groups. And uh, uh, we have the following important proposition, proposition six, six, let n, n be, so for one time, I, I I put no finite space uh, hypothesis, so arbitrarily abelian groups and sets. Let E be the set. Actually, it's a of group morphs from N to N. And so the first statement is that uh, there exists a natural morphism from the constant group scheme ES uh, to the center of homomorphism. Between this constant, the constant, the constant groups. And secondly, uh, actually, it's a, it's a monomorphism, so it's injective. Uh, this is an isomorphism. If, uh, if M is finitely generated. So this is the other reason why I I insisted all the way on, on finite generation. So let's let's try to prove this. And so let's denote by F the functor on on the right hand side. So the functor of Okay, and let T be a S key. And so what are the T points of uh, ES? So these are just uh, uh, locally constant uh, map from T into E. Okay, and so, so these are maps from T plus M 
into n which satisfies certain properties. So how do, do I want to call them? So let's let let call me f. So which uh, such that uh, f is uh, oh in my notes I I wrote in this order. So the property is that, of course, F is additive to the first uh, variable. And since it, it comes from a map which is locally constant, and it is, uh, let's say, uniformly. Locally constant, locally constant in second variable. And so by this, I mean that is. For any point uh, t in t, there exists a neighborhood neighborhood uh, u uh, of t such uh, that uh, f of any t is equal to f of any u. Um, for all and in n and u in u. So this is because, uh, okay, so, so this is because if we have a locally constant map of phi from uh, t to from Okay, so if if this map is constant on on u, uh, so the, so this map is nothing but uh, phi of of u applied to m. So this is this is what uh, this is how one goes from from a map, map like that to this one. So you see that it is uh, uh, it's, it's 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 very strongly locally constant. And on the other hand, what is the what is the other other set? And so f of t is a set of morphism of t groups from m t to uh, m t, um, and so we so we can write it like this. And so this is uh, so this is the set of uh, of maps uh, G, uh, which of course are additive. G is additive in a first variable, and for each t uh, and each n, there exists a neighborhood u depending on m uh, such that uh, g of m t is equal to g of m u for all u in u n. Okay, so one see one sees that uh, one set is contained in the other, and in general, the second one may be larger because uh, the the conditions are weaker. But we have to uh, observe that 
so fix M and the neighborhood UM. So just observe that by additivity. Uh, uh, all maps, all G and time are locally constant, are constant actually on UM. Uh, uh, this for any M prime in the group generated by, by M. Uh, because, for example, if, uh, well, you have G2, G2M of U, so by additivity, this is GM of U plus GM of U, and it's equal to the same, same thing with U replaced by T. Okay, so, so a neighborhood that works for, for some M works for the subgroup generated by M. Uh, and, and and so this is like a, so this suffices because so if M is finitely generated, so we see that if M is generated by finitely generators M one up to M R. Then for any T in T, so that there exist neighborhoods UM1, UMR corresponding to the various elements, and there are the parent section, I call it U. So that the intersection, so we have a, a finite intersection of open neighborhood of, of T. So is a neighborhood, the neighborhood of T such that all uh, such that uh, G M U is equal to G M T for any U in U and any M in M. And uh, this G actually belongs to, to the smaller subset. Okay, so, so this is one place where finite generation is, uh, uh, is important. Uh, uh, okay, so, so the conclusion. So if M is uh, finitely uh, generated, uh, Z uh, yeah, 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 the, the, because so clearly this, is, uh, this set is a subset of the other one because we just put a stronger condition. But when M is finitely generated, one sees that the two sets coincide. Uh, then the map, so we see that the, the set of morphism uh, of the corresponding groups of multiplicative type, uh, well, Um, so this is a this is a constant group uh, uh, given by common groups of M N. So this uh, okay. So this is this. So this is a constant group corresponding to to S. Okay. So this is. Uh, important and uh, what do I want to say uh, next? 
So now we can refine this uh, proposal. Right. Um, uh, let u from uh, g to uh, g prime uh, on my space map. Uh, Not for me. Right. Let me try to locally and I, I explain in the course of the talk why this is needed of diagonal diagonal feasible uh, groups. Uh, so, so G is DMS uh, and uh, G prime is. Uh, S, and I assume just to be safe that both are finitely generated. Uh, okay, uh, let's take the norm the channel. And so the statement is that uh, K is locally generalizable. And K to G is a closing motion. motion. So the quotient Y zero K exists and is locally. Diagonalizable and uh, okay, and uh, uh, you uh, factors as uh, okay, now let, let me just okay, so let's prove this proposition. Um, okay, so uh, I uh, assume so lo locally diagonalizable means that uh, each each point. So okay, so locally uh, diagonal. So one says that G is locally diagonal if for the S. There exists a uh, neighborhood U uh, such that uh, uh, G restricted to U is equal to D of N U for some N, which may depend on S. Okay, so if the base is not connected, uh, uh, you can take a one dimensional, well, if you have two. Two points, you can take uh, the trivial group of uh, one point and uh, so, so this is a mild. Uh, and so the, the assertion to prove uh, uh, a local. So the assertions to prove a local on S. Uh, so we may assume. So we may assume that the groups are. Are truly diagonal, diagonal groups. But we have our U, uh, which, which is a morphism 
Yep. Uh, uh, you mean here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, sorry, yes. It's D of n prime of x. Okay, thank you. So we have a morphism of, uh, of group spheres from uh, D M to this one. But we have just seen that this is uh, for this. Uh, so for this, uh, by what we saw, this is just given by a locally constant map from S into the set of group morphisms. Okay, uh, and so there is a partition. So there is a partition of S into uh, to open. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are absolutely right. It's M prime into M. Into Clopin sub schemes. Over which uh, U comes from Morpheus. Uh, and, prime one. and then we are done because we, we can apply proposition, uh, the previous proposition. And so if we if we write, so if we call K the kernel of the of this map, K is goes to M, M prime and, and maybe P prime and so P prime is the kernel of and into uh, so this is u and so this is co the co kernel of u so actually so this is the kernel okay so it, it comes from a, a morphism hence the assertions uh, one and two uh, by the previous proposition Yeah, because uh, of each Klopin subscheme, we are reduced to this situation, and, and then uh, we have the result. And moreover, uh, so this corresponds to the statement that I've not written here, uh, three uh, and four, uh, eight of the nodes. So at the level of abelian groups, uh, so we, uh, there is a U as a kernel and a co kernel, and there is this P prime in the middle, which is both uh, uh, the image and the co image. And so this translates uh, at the level of di diagonal groups. And so they say, they say also that this morphism as a, as a kernel and co image and image and kernel, and that the image is uh, isomorphic to the co image. And so we have an abelian category. But uh, you see that even if we start, uh, with uh, the diagonal level groups. Since the morphism is only given by a locally constant function from this, even we, if we start with uh, truly uh, uh, D groups, if the base is not connected, the morphism can be different over different components. Uh, and so, um, so we have to include, uh, to have an abelian category, you have to enlarge the category to, to locally diagonal level. Okay. And uh, and so this extends to, to group of multiplicative type. Uh, for this, I just have to uh, redefine uh, redefine uh, MP groups. And so the definition is the same as before. Uh, so uh, uh, S group. Scheme H is of multiplicative type. 
uh, if uh, each each S in S has a fine of an inner group U and U prime to U uh, is fully flat with U prime a fine such that H lifted to U prime is diagonalizable for some and possibly depending on the point. Uh, okay, and the definition of a quasi isotrivial isotrivial. Or not only I thought trivial is is empty form. So so this is uh, the true uh, definition given by Grothendieck of group of multiplicative type. That is, he, 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 did, he did fix uh, the abelian group M before and it, it may depend on S. So this is only a technical assumption because th then he proves immediately that uh, the, there is a partition of the base into a Klopen subscheme over which uh, M is the same. So this, this does not add, so this just complicates uh, the, uh, the statements. And so this is why in, I, I, in my first lecture, I took as a definition, I, I fixed M before and because otherwise this, this just makes statements more complicated and it's not really re relevant because locally, uh, but you need this extraordinary to conclude now, okay, by, and I, I will conclude by saying that, so these two results are true for a group of multiplicative types, just for the same reason, because you you, you just lift uh, by, by base change, uh, the statements are true, uh, and then they, they, are, they are true over S by facial flat descent. But, uh, to have this, you, uh, you have to allow M to, 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 to vary with uh, the thing. Okay, so this is uh, the official definition. And with this definition, the conclusion is that uh, the category of uh, group of multiplicative types is, is Abelian. And so, I, well, so any morphism as a kernel and co kernel, um, and they are a group of multiplicative types. Okay, and I will stop here. And okay, and so the next lecture is uh, on Tuesday. Hmm? Yeah, Tuesday.